Welcome back to the Everything Real Estate Show with David Angione. And again, we are continuing on and finalizing our conversation here about asbestos removal. Um, in most cases, you have to pull a permit to do demolition work on your house. A component of this demolition permit is to remove the asbestos you will need to dispose of the contaminated materials and an approved facility. Um, this is typically set very low requiring materials with as little as 1% asbestos, asbestos to go in an approved waste area. And again, I would imagine that you would be able to find that out from your um, local building department, your health department, they should be able to answer those questions for you as to where you would be able to dispose of that. And I would imagine that is pretty well tightly controlled by the Environmental Protection Agency in the area or the EPA as we know it. Um, so Again, you you want to be sure that you're going to check. You don't want to get in trouble for just throwing it in the landfill. Um, I'm, I would imagine that there would be a pretty hefty fine for that. So, again, not trying to, to freak you out or anything, just um, trying to keep everyone safe and um, give you answer the question that I had about some different uh, people that do that. So I, I do find this very interesting about uh, asbestos. Um, the best thing to do with asbestos, like I've said, you know, asbestos when it's um, just there and you're not messing around with it or anything, if it's laying on the pipes and it's not in um, this, it's not deteriorating or anything, uh, just leave it alone. Um, undisturbed asbestos um, containing materials generally does not present a health hazard provided the material area is in good conditions and not crumbling or flaking or otherwise deteriorating. So as long as it's in decent shape, um, there's no need to do anything about it. If you do find yourself um, with asbestos-wrapped pipes, maybe at the joints or maybe sometimes the full pipes will be um, wrapped in because wrapped in asbestos. That seems to be a trend that they were doing um, back in maybe the 50s, I believe. So, but you can, um, I've been told, okay, I'm not an authority on this, but I've been told that you can paint over it. You can use uh, duct tape, some type of tape like that um, material over it to that kind of harnesses it and seals it. So that would be the best way if you have asbestos and don't want to take the chances of removing it yourself or hiring a professional to do it, then you could just um, seal it in that manner to um, keep it from becoming airborne and, and a hazard. So... Um, some of the places that you might find um, asbestos in your home would be um, loose fill insulation, textured paint, wall patchings, and house siding. I was surprised by that. Pipe insulation, that does not surprise me because I've seen it. And it says particularly wraps or takes on, on old pipe. Um, door gaskets on an oil or gas furnace heat-resistant board and paper materials around wood stoves. I've seen uh, in, in one of my homes, I had a wood burner, and behind it was a um, that heat-resistant board to prevent it from causing a fire or damaging the walls. And I'm from what I'm reading here, that more than likely had asbestos in it. Again, it's not a problem as long as you're not um, doing anything with it, breaking it apart, or making it in any way, shape, or form becoming airborne. Um, other areas would be vinyl floor tiles, tile backing, and tile adhesive. Um, 
so um, where I got this information was from the spruce, and that you can find that on online at www.thespruce.com, and um, so so that's an area where you can find a source for about um, asbestos. Another thing um, you can, if you went on to the uh, EPA and, and the Environmental Protection Agency and typed in, um, typed in asbestos, I'm sure that you will get an endless amount of information there. Um, you can also, uh, I want to reiterate that before you would want to do any major asbestos type of removal, you would want to contact your local health department for any information about the legality of removing it yourself and the potential hazards of and protective measures that you could take for removing uh, of asbestos. Um, Dave and Maslin, I hope you're out there listening to me today and that this has helped you some. The, um, the two agencies that I came up with that, I, like I said, will be on my uh, Facebook page are HEPA. It's H E P A, and that is Environmental Services. They're out of Talmage. Um, their phone number is 330 818 0188, and the other one is Residential Asbestos Removal. That's in Shaker Heights. That phone number is 216-561-1600. Again, this is not necessarily an endorsement. These are just two places that I found with good uh, reviews on the Internet. So I encourage you to go out there and look um, for places like that. Hopefully, again, Dave, this helps you. I thank you for calling in um, with your question. Uh, about the asbestos. It's been very interesting for me and very, very enlightening. And, and that's what we're here for. We want to help you with all of your real estate questions. So we had another one from Dan in Canton, called in and or emailed in and wanted to know how big is an acre? Um, and I found that kind of interesting too. Um, so, and here, here's a question that I'm going to start this off with. It says, did you know that during the Middle Ages, an acre was defined as the amount of land plowable in one day by one man and an ox? Not very specific then, uh, especially if your ox is feeling particularly lethargic. Thankfully, these days, the acre, un the acre unit is more clearly defined. Um, Oxit that ready. Let's take a look at the task at hand. Perhaps you're considering purchasing a new property attached to several acres of land and you're wondering how big it is. Or maybe you're studying for an exam and want to know how to convert square feet to acres. You can find that on Facebook really, or I'm sorry, on the internet really easy to how to create it, how to change it from square feet to acres or acres to square meters and um, et cetera. So, but actually an acre is... 4,046, 4046.86 square meters. It's 4,840 square yards, 43,560 square feet, or 0 0.404686 hectares. Um, it's, it's important to realize that an acre can be measured in any shape, from rectangle to circles or even hectagons. So, so long as the total area of land is 43,560 square feet. The most common shape for an acre is one furlong, how many of you know what a furlong is, not this guy, by one chain, or 660 feet by 66 feet. Um, if you struggle getting your head around this, just how big that area actually is. Try visualizing visual, visualizing sixty percent of a soccer soccer pitch 
75% of an American football field or 16 tennis courts in a 4 by 4 formation. That, uh, if that doesn't help you, consider a parking lot containing 150 cars parked in a square. Uh, so that kind of can help you visualize the size of an acre. Um, I'm not real good at visualizing, but so that kind of answers that question for you. Um, FIFA, FIFA, states that the optimal size of a soccer pitch is between 69,000 and 86,000 square feet. An American football field commonly measures around 57,564 square feet. So that kind of gives you an idea that an acre would be, um, according to this, um, smaller than a football field. Um, so those are just some interesting facts there. Um, so, and here's some interesting facts about um, different uh, acres, things about acreages. So, according to the United States Census, the total area of New York City measures approximately 300,000 acres. That's 468.9 square miles, although the figure includes water. By comparison, the area of Greater London measures approximately 388,000 acres or 606.95 square miles. The gardens um, at Buckingham Palace measure 40 acres and include a helicopter landing pad. The Amazon rainforest measures one comma three five nine comma zero seven nine comma five nine eight acres. That's a lot. Um, it has been estimated that the surface area of the moon measures approximately, uh, I guess, nine billion three hundred eighty three million seven hundred forty eight thousand one hundred ninety eight acres. Um, so again, those are just some. Um, interesting facts about an acre. Uh, and again, uh, you know, an acre can be measured any way, shape, or form, circles, rectangulars, um, probably a triangle, although um, I'm sure they're out there. I don't know why we would want a triangle acre, but they're just out there. So I hope that has helped you and been informative today. Um, Again, this is David Angione with the Everything Real Estate Show, and I, I thank you, um, Dave, and uh, for for your question, and Dan for your question about asbestos and real uh, the size of an acre. Uh, so, if if you have any questions, I encourage you to again email them to myself at david at davidangione dot com, and that's spelled A N G I O N E, or text me three three zero three two three six three nine six. Not only will I answer you online, but I will get back to you in the source that you have sent me that question. I want to thank again um, Ryan with First In Home Inspection and Stephanie with E Mortgage Management for sponsoring my show. And um, thank you again for listening. Hope to talk with you again soon. Thank you very much. Have a great day.